Welcome back. Nearly one in nine of our neighbors, including 65,000 children, are food insecure in West Michigan. It's an ongoing problem, and an organization that began in Canada is continuing its mission to help. The coldest night of the year is a family 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 friendly fundraising walk in support of local charities serving people experiencing hurt, hunger, and homelessness. That walk is being held in Battle Creek this year to raise funds for the South Michigan Food Bank. Organizers Shannon and Lori both joining us live over Zoom to tell us more. Good morning to you both. Thanks so much for joining us. Good morning. So uh, good morning to you. And Shannon, tell us a little bit about getting this walk started here in uh, Battle Creek. I know you kind of have those ties to Canada. I do. Um, and I have to give credit to the South Michigan Food Bank because they're the ones who really initiated it here in Battle Creek. But they reached out to us at Canadiana Fest knowing what the origins of the walk is, which began in Canada in, I think, 1996. And they've raised $96 million just by doing what we're going to do uh, next weekend. And now, Lori, how important is it to, you know, raise money for people who are experiencing that hunger, um, food insecurity? I know we're seeing a lot of that one in nine. That's such a, a shocking number. It is. It is, it is critical for us to continue gaining resources, both in funding and in food for, for nutrition for all of our neighbors. Uh, we cover eight different counties in South Michigan, um, and the, the need continues to rise. Um, food insecurity is no longer uh, a, a, a situation for someone that might be unemployed or um, low income. We, we see dual income families. We see people who just can't stretch their, their pay to, to another week. So instead of making that impossible choice, do I pay rent or do I buy groceries, uh, South Michigan Food Bank is there as a resource for anyone and everyone. And so those funds raised at this walk will go towards um, to you guys and what you do there. So talk a little bit about um, you know where that money is going and then what that's going towards for people who, who do come to you for help. Oh, absolutely. All money raised will stay local. Um, so at, all the funds are going to come funneling through uh, South Michigan Food Bank. Um, I'll take Shannon and her, her team as an example. Um, she has asked if she could funnel her funds right to agencies that we work with in Kalamazoo County. And I said, absolutely, uh, you, can, you can absolutely do that. So we have, I think we're up to 12 teams. So each team can decide, you know what, I would like my funds to say to my neighborhood. Uh, we have over 360 agencies in our eight counties. So we distribute to them and they distribute right into the hands of the folks that need it most. Well, it's so great to hear and, and ways that people can support the organizations that maybe their neighbors are getting help from or they're getting help from. Now, Shannon, tell us a little bit about this walk, um, where people can find more information and when it's happening. The walk is happening in Battle Creek at the um, site of South Michigan Food Bank, and they can find the information on our, the website, which is cnoy.com which is different than the Canadian one. So be sure you find the US site and uh, join a team or contribute to a team. Right now, Callum, who is uh, to my, my uh, side here is gonna be walking with us. Callum would like to earn a toque, which uh, Lori is wearing right now. It's a traditional Canadian uh, knitted cap and he would like to earn his. So please help us out. Please help our neighbors. Please make a difference. It's not hard. We just ask that you uh, stand up and do a little bit to help us make it happen. Well, definitely it will make it a little bit more fun with Callum there walking alongside all of those teams. And so that registration is still open. Shannon, Lori, thank you so much for joining us. We have all this information up on our website, box17online.com, if you'd like to learn more and um, register as well, as well. Or you can donate money and you'll find a link on our website as well. Shannon, Lori, thanks so much this morning for joining us. Thank, thank you, Lori. Lori.